Okay, cocky, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to Morphy's Rides Again. Only on today, we're not riding today due to the weather conditions. So, what we're doing? Well, I'm going to show you a product I bought uh, purely, well, mainly for when we do the North Coast 500 next year. When I did it with Graham, I took uh, 50 litre. Uh, storage plus a wetsuit. This time I'm going to try it with my 30 uh, litre um, bag on the back whose name escapes me. Proper good tackle. We do, I've done reviews on them. Uh, it's an age thing this uh, malarkey. Forgetfulness. Krieger. Krieger 30 litre dry bag on the back. And this little baby I bought, which is SW Motec, and it's the Pro Day Bag, bag. Pro Day Pack Bag, Pro Day Pack Bag, and it's the five to nine liters. And on top is, is what's known as the Molly system. It's a well-known system, the army use it, and it's interchangeable with all bits of gear. Uh, I've sent off for a map, polythene map, uh, dry map, tablet pack, uh, that slots into them two slots there, and, and it comes down here with a, a little uh, a, a, a elastic loop, and it fits into there, into there underneath. It's proper good bit of kit. Well made, well made, well thought out bag. Its main um, attribute, uh, one of the reasons I bought it, is this here. And you may be wondering what uh, what this red cable, uh, red um, strap does. Well, underneath that's the system that fits onto the tank and you can see that a bit closer. that's a system that fits onto the tank and uh, when you pull this uh, in, in, on the uh, tank ring itself is uh, magnet, mag magnetic loaded and when you pull this can you see these four little roller type pins one two three four you'll see them move or maybe you won't, but I hope you can. And that's them uh, releasing and fixing back on. And what that does is, it releases the bag from the tank. When you pull that, I'll show it. We'll go out to the garage, uh, the garage of love. We'll go out to the garage of love and I'll show you how it fits on to the tank. Uh, and it's pretty, well, it's, I think, I, you know, I've never had a tank bag purely because of the um, awkwardness of them. Come getting them on and off the tank. The scratching the paintwork. I'm not saying any particular bag in question scratches the paintwork. You can have magnetic, you can have tank ring, you can have straps. But they all touch the tank. I'm not, not saying I'm not saying that they do scratch the tank. I haven't have I don't have any experience in this. It's only my opinion. I've heard people having the tanks scratched with different types of bags. This one does not touch the tank. Again, I'll try and show it on this video. Uh, it's a nine to sixteen liter. No, sorry. We've had this out with John. John bought one as well. I told him mine was 9 to 16 when in fact it's 5 to 9 litre. Uh, so, so at the moment it's 5, 5 litre. And then um, we uh, unzip it here. That's the zip. Comes out from under there. And the, tank, the old tank bag expands. You get the picture. Up to 9 litre. Not going to do it, but 
that's what happens. Uh, and it's, honestly, it's well thought out. Everything seems to have a position or a place, you know, to tidy it away. Nothing's, uh, it's like elasticated, is that? And it just tucks in out the way. So you haven't got a tag flopping about. So uh, there's little straps and, you know, you can tie things on. Uh, at the back they're all movable that's as I say for the uh, molly system to fix into underneath here you can fit a power cable or anything you so wish maybe it's a sat nav or cable or anything like that and same at the back so the wires go into in up if you will so there, there's no chance of any water getting at it comes with a water it, it is slightly waterproof but it comes with a waterproof cover goes over the top obviously that'll uh, affect the molly system you won't be able to see what you've got on but it, it makes it fully waterproof you can buy this with power so you can have a, a power so it on the tank ring itself, you wire that into your battery or your bike or your connection, whatever you've got. And that comes out at about 168 if you buy the electric. It begins to get quite expensive and you haven't finished there. Because once you've done that, then you've got to buy the electric gear for inside the bag. However, true Morphe fashion, I've devised a system myself. And I've run from the Eastern Beaver on the Africa Twin an SE cable right up to the tank out of sight, under, you know, under the tank, threaded it through and what have you and it goes right up to the tank and the SE is waterproof once it connects into that um, So all I have to do if I want to take the tank bag off is just pull the joint apart, tank bag's off If I don't have to do that to fill it up because I can just lift the tank bag off the tank ring and just to the side fill the bike up, not a worry. It's just when you get somewhere, if you're on tour or anything like that and you want to un unplug it from the bike, it just unplugs. And the other end of the SAE, which I'm hopefully may be able to show you in the garage, has a waterproof cover on it anyhow, so you can leave it obviously attached to the bike. Well, you have to leave it attached to the bike because it's connected to the bike. So that's the SEE connection uh, in, onto the bike itself. Inside the bag, what I've done, uh, I bought, uh, let's see if I can get it back out. It, it, that's the SEE connection. So you have an SEE connection inside the bag. So if you have anything SEE connected, you can run it up through there or up through the back, whichever takes your fancy. Uh, if you can see my finger coming through there, that's where the the wire would come out or in. So what I've done, I've bought this Optimate and what that does is an SEE connection, as you can see, plugs into that wire and it turns it into a USB fast charger. So now inside the bag, I've got SEE and I've got USB. I can. All, I've sent for a splitter from uh, China at one pound, few pence, and that'll split it into two USBs. So I'll have two USB cable uh, attachments into the bag, so I can charge phone, mobile phone, sat nav, batteries, out you want. Inside the bag itself, it's got these elasticated straps for uh, tying stuff down that's how I've got my electric kit in there uh, that one goes down there, just got some in there like that, out the way as you can see it takes no room up in the bag itself whatsoever so I've still got the 9 to 15 uh, 5 to 9 litres of uh, storage uh, with all these elasticated straps all the way around that will hold uh, valuables in or whatever you want to put in there. I have to put a flash, small flask in there and it does fit. Um, you can put other stuff in there but no doubt it'll get filled up. 
Uh, the other beauty about it is you don't have to fast, you know, if you only want to undo half the bag, you can leave that zip to the side there. And if you want to get inside the bag for any reason, you don't have to undo all the zips, you just have to lift that up and you're inside the bag and you can see what you want anyway, you put your wallet out, put your cash out, whatever you want to get out. There is a lockable system that you can lock this onto the tank ring, uh, so it can't be taken off the, bank while, uh, off the bike while you're not there. I won't be buying that. I, I can't see any need for it. Uh, universal fit different bikes. This is a ratcheting system, and when you build, when you get it to your house, you've got to build. You know, you don't have to build it up as such. You've got to screw this plate onto it, and what you do, you loosely screw a couple of screws in loosely, so they they, they screwed in but not tight. Put your tank rag on your bike, uh, tank tank ring on your bike and just sit it on and move your bag up and down to the position which suits your bike. Once you get it in that position, then you put the four screws in, a bit of medium uh, uh, lock, lock, you know, locking stuff, lock, for locking, locking the screws in. And a bit of medium on the magnetic tank ring that fits onto your specific tank. These are specific bike tank ring so you've got to get the one for your bike they do it for the africa twin obviously because i've got it and i've got the tank ring on my bike and everything's working perfect so i haven't got a problem there it's got a carrying strap at the back carrying about should you so wish you know when you get to your digs or whatever you just some pull it, pull it, uh, pull it off the bike and uh and just carry it in. Uh, as I say, John sent for the strap. Uh, my mate John Walworth. He sent for the uh, not strap, the map uh, and tablet uh, dry pack, and I have. So they they're winging the way. Probably be a Monday. Made by SW Motec, and it's a a day pack. The, the particular one. It's the new model, and apparently it's won a uh, quite a few. Um, awards for design um, and that's basically it but we will go into the garage and I'll put it on back but before I do that um, I've got a few new subscribers the names of the subscribers aren't all coming through so I do apologize if I don't read your name out it's because I haven't got it simple uh, but the new ones I've have got, I've got four new names and David Sanderson, Eric Plackenborg, Billy Nortat and De Grant. I'm sorry if I don't say them right, my pronunciation is not uh, brilliant at the best of times. I do apologise for that. You guys, welcome to the channel. Hope you stay, hope you get some enjoyment out of it and uh, yeah. Welcome on board. It's been, uh, it's been a particular bad year for a lot of people, not just me. Uh, but we've had a, Sprocket and I, I've had a few uh, rough months to, fair, uh, to say the least. We're still going through a bit of crap at the minute, but uh, we, we're getting through it. For those of you who watch the channel, uh, where we put the house up, it's gone through it. It fell through, we, we're now stopping here, we ain't moving. I've got off my backside at last. <laughs> I know a few of you at the beginning of the year thought, Jesus, is he ever going to move? <laughs> I got off my backside and I've decorated, well, it's probably now, decorated right through the top of the uh, top of the high. I've done a, a patch-up job in the front room, but we have a, a big setback fight, fight in there. And it's built into the chimney breast, uh, and at some stage I'm going to take that out. So I've only done a, a makeover in there for the time being until that fire comes out. Uh, Sprocket's making a mind of what design she wants, uh, and then we'll put it in, we'll build the design. And, you know, and she's on about one of them ingle nook, you know, one of them big open fire uh, fireplaces. So it, 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 even though it's a new house, new, new house it's 24 year old. It has a chimney breast in there, you know, it's built, it's got a proper chimney, so I'll, we'll design something. The upstairs is finished, uh, we've gone through all the bedrooms and the two bathrooms, uh, painted, 
glossed, new light fittings, new door handles, everything you want, it's all done. And we're going to have a rest now till we'll after Crimbo. And then we're going to come down the stairs, uh, through here, I'm going to do the floor and etc, etc, etc. So that's ongoing. The caravan, I put it up for sale. And the dealer came and I sold it to the dealer. And uh, yeah. We had it for just over six years, Sprocket and I, and we paid £9,000 for it. It was a particular type of caravan, it's called an Ariba. If you are in the market for a caravan, look for an Ariba. Uh, they're a steel made caravan, steel frame should I say, and there's no flex in the joints, so it's, it's hard. They do get, become water uh, ingress, but it's highly unlikely. They're a well built bit of kit. Uh, Sprocket and I just over six years ago paid £9,000 for it, which at the time I thought was a lot of money. It was a 2004. So six years ago it was ten years old. Right? Yeah, something like that. Right, 2003, 2004. And I thought it was a lot of money at the time, but uh, we had a lot of uh, holidays in it. We've had some good times in it. We've been far down south, as far as you can go, basically. And yeah, we went, uh, up to this year, we didn't, it hadn't turned a wheel this year due to what this corona crap. Uh, so up to this year, it, 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 we've been on holiday every year, two or three times a year in that caravan, had some uh, great times, been to Kirby Lonsdale and up late, Kendall, Keswick, Windermere. And okay, we, we decided to sell, we are going to get a motorhome, or we, that's the plan. In fact, I put an offer in for one today. Um, the guy's thinking about it, it's £1,000 less than what he wanted. He may come back, he may not. It's a fair way off. It's down uh, Norwich. So I'd have to go way down Norwich, look at it. Sort the deal out, come all the way back, sort the insurance out, the tax, and then go back down for it. And none of this lockdown malarkey. I don't know how we're going to go on, but it's on the cards. So anyway, the dealer comes up to look at the caravan, the, the Ariba give him the keys, uh, he wanders round it all, checks this, checks that, checks the other, I left him to it, I came in the house, came with awnings and everything like that, which I was leaving in, um, I came in, came, knocked on the door, he said, minutes to save you, I went out, pointed this out, pointed that out, which we weren't happy about, but it weren't, nothing major, it was just a couple of points, I thought, oh dear, uh, what's this, you know, where's this leading, how much is this going to cost me? And he said, the best offer I can give you for the caravan, and it's my final top offer, is £9,000. <laughs> I said, can't you do any better? He said, no. <laughs> so, the caravan cost me £9,000 six years ago. We had a all the holidays. <laughs> I resold it six years later for £9,000. So, my point is, if you're looking for a caravan or you're in the market for a caravan, look for an Ariba. They do hold the money. Get yourself an old one. The first one I bought was a Puck. Very tiny. Uh, motorcycle channel talking about caravans. I do apologise. <laughs> I know your feelings against motor caravans and uh, motor homes and caravans. I'm, a, I'm on your side. <laughs> but I'm, I've also got a, a foot in the other camp. <laughs> So, this puck, it was a, just a two berth, well, it, 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 two berth, it, you couldn't fit no more, there was no toilet or anything, it, it was very tiny. In fact, it weren't much bigger than that. <laughs> and when it was hooked up to the car, you couldn't even tell you, in fact, at times, I forgot I had it on back. But I paid £5,000 for that, Sprocket and I had some holidays, went to, uh, yeah, I forgot where we went in that. We had, went to a couple of places anyway, we had, you know, we had a good time, we had a, a, fair to say, we had a good time in it and uh, we sold it, we sold it for £5,000. <laughs> they owe the money. And what led to that, we'd been tenting, tenting for a few years, uh, we'd been camping and then when, one day we got up, I think we were at uh, Farley, if my memory, Sprocket will probably tell me different, but I thought, I think it was Farley. But we got up one morning, it was Easter, I think it were, and it was, it was frosting as air. She said, that's it. We had to get a caravan, I so said, I'm not going ever, anywhere again with you. So we moved up into the caravan and we got the puck. 
as I say, £5,000. It's all at £5,000. Then we moved up into the... Uh, that was an Ariba Puck. Then we moved... That was the smallest caravan they make, Ariba Puck. And then we moved up into the Troll, what was called the Troll, and that's the biggest caravan Ariba make, and it's still not that massive, don't get me wrong. It's not big. And we paid £9,000. Six years later, we, paid, we got his £9,000 back. So, if you do go for an Ariba, they will hold the money. Good caravan. Make sure you get a good one. Make sure you get it off somebody reputable and it's in good condition and you, you, you will, will there or thereabouts get your money back. Anyhow, enough of that. So apart from that, uh, we've had loads of stress. We picked a house out over in Bentham, a beautiful house. Uh, anyhow, it's all fell through so it really doesn't matter. We're back here. And I said to Sprocket, when I move out of this house, I'm going out in a box. Uh, I'm not, uh, nothing wrong with the house. And I did, I've done a bit of a talk on estate agents. I'm not going to go through that again. Look back in my uh, vlogs and there's some good tips. If you're thinking about putting your house up for sale and you want a couple of tips for what it's worth, uh, message me. And I'll even either give you a ring or we'll swap numbers somehow and uh, we'll have a natter. And I'll give you a couple of pointers that I learnt over that period of time. We haven't had a lot of houses on Sprocket and I. We, 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 we've only had three in his married life. Uh, just short of 40 years. So, um, and the first house we bought, we sold it to Bev's, well, we swapped it, part swapped it to Bev's grandma. We had a wedge of cash for her semi which were uh, in disrepair. It wanted all rewiring and re-plumbing. Uh, it were dire. It it uh, so she moved into our house. It was all done up. Her uh, house was worth more, don't get me wrong. Um, we give her a wedge of cash plus a house. And I did that house up. Bev's sister bought it when we bought this. So I haven't had any dealings with estate agents up until now. And I can tell you, it was a sharp learning curve. And I learnt quite a lot, and I can pass that on to you uh, and save you a bit of uh, aggro. So, if you want to know anything, just give us a shout and we'll, we'll have an after about that. Um, I hope you enjoyed the uh, Kirkstone and Honister Pass uh, videos, which I've just done, and they're on. Uh, proper enjoyed doing them. Really good day out. Graham and... Uh, Chris Blackman, uh, both good guys. Graham's one laid back cooker. Good guys, Graham. Chris is a good guy. Uh, both good guys, but he's funny. <laughs> I proper enjoy riding out with Graham. Uh, we've we had some good ride outs and we have some good times and some good laughs. In fact, Graham came with me on the last North Coast 500. Uh, Chris Blackburn, another good lad, he was here, uh, went on the Kirkstone and Honister, he were going to come to Scotland with us, but unfortunately we'd already booked the digs and uh, the four amigos, we'd, we'd came to a, an agreement that there was only four of us going and uh, a couple of other people wanted to come, but unfortunately we'd limited it to four purely because the booking situation and not only that, when you're out on the road, and you get to roundabouts and junctions and dent, 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 four of you in a row. It, you can, it can get a bit tedious waiting for people. So what we said was, uh, because we'd arranged it and got together, on this occasion there's only four of us going. And that's why there's only four of us booked on. I've all sorts to tell you, but uh, I forgot what I, I was going to say anyway. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into Gary's now. And then we'll have a look how the uh, Pro Day Pack fits onto the back and see what you think. Give us a minute. Okay, Corky, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, we're in the garage of love, and that is the uh, tank ring of the uh, SW Motec Pro Day Pack bag. That part here 
fits over the tank ring itself. The tank ring screws on first. Hmm, sorry. Tank ring screws on first. You see the screws there. And there's a couple more. So that fits onto the tank ring and then this part then screws on to the tank ring itself. And inside this black horseshoe shape is the uh, magnets. So now I shall show you. Oh, at the back here you can see that's the SAE cable where it connects up to the bike and gives me power into the day pack. I'll just zoom out slightly. So you get the, the strap, as you can see, you get the bag, and all you do, are you watching this guys? That's it. That is it attached to the bag, to the back. I'll show you again. Unattach. attached that's it so easy very easy 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 do it again so you just pull the strap at the back put your hand under there just pull it off to fasten it on attached that's it it's so easy to do so we're going to the garage of love and we're back in the uh Morphe's kitchen and uh, what do you think of that? The SW Motet bag, cracking bit of kit. I just love how it just slides, <laughs> there's no fixing. It, the magnets drive, drive it into this position, you just put it on the ring and it goes dunk and, and, and it's fixing itself. Then all you do is pull that strap, pick it off, it's so easy, no fiddling, no faffing. They've hit it spot on for me and uh, cracking bag and it doesn't interfere with any of the view of the instrument on my bike any view of the instruments at all, at all whatsoever it's not in the way it doesn't touch my chest doesn't touch my legs sits on the bike perfect for me good bit of kit i am going to over the winter period i'm going to revisit some of my kit uh, one in particular is the Evo 12 helmet and I'll give you an update on that now. Now I've worn it for quite a lot of miles, we'll have a bit of an update. So anyhow, all I've got to say from me is uh, hold tight, because we're going into lockdown next week, sit tight. The weather's crap at the moment but it's looking good for next week so I will get out before uh, lockdown, probably on Wednesday. As we're going into lockdown Thursday I believe, or is it Friday? one of the days so just sit tight stick with it stay safe ride safe i'll be back in touch i'll put something on the channel i've got loads of uh, old bits and bats of, of rides i've done and i haven't put up there might be a bit of mourning in it because it was early in the year when i was in my depressive state I'm, i do apologize for that i'll take out as much as i can <laughs> uh, so all that remains to be said is uh, enjoy the videos, welcome to the channel, uh, hit the like button if you like it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed and ring my bell. And all I have to say is adios from Morph. Adios guys, adios. Mm -hmm.